Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand. How are you all going out there? Thanks for checking out my video today. We're going to talk about nail fungus. I got a question here, an email from a man called Ray Fletcher from New Jersey. New Jersey's a um, state that I've had a few patients uh, contact me from. Quite an interesting accent. I think they speak a bit like the people from New York. So, Ray's asking me here, um, does candida cause nail fungus? That's a good question, Ray. So, many people around the world suffer from a yeast infection of the peripheral parts of the body. And that could be the fingernails, it can be the toenails, it could be the skin. The toenails commonly get nail fungus. And yes, candida can definitely cause nail fungus. Uh, onychomycosis is the medical term for uh, nail fungus. Many people will be using treatments like Lamisil, for example, or other, other pharmaceutical medications to get rid of it. When you've got a problem with a nail fungus, it usually means that you've got a weakness. You've got some kind of predisposition pushing you towards this condition. So often it'll be the big toenail that will be affected. Now the interesting uh, thing is you'll find that uh, the bigger toes get affected, the bigger toenails get affected rather than the smaller toenails, probably because they got a bigger blood supply, uh, they're a larger surface area for the, the, the yeast to really grow underneath that nail bed. And symptoms are often things like uh, you'll see a discolored nail, could be whitish or brownish color, they can be flaky or break easily, they can puff up a little bit. It can look pretty crappy, it's not really something nice to walk around in summertime with, you know, having your, your bare feet with some nice sandals or some nice open shoes and having these crappy looking toenails. Many office people get it because they often wear socks, for example. They wear socks all day. So, in my opinion, many people who have got persistent toenail fungus also have got yeast in other parts of the body. Uh, they can have it in the gut, especially if you notice signs and symptoms like bloating or gas or sugar cravings. Uh, these are quite common with people with toenail fungus. Many people will talk about using treatments like Lamisil peripherally and forget about the gut. It's not a good idea. Because in most cases, you, it might, may take only a few weeks to clear it up with a medical treatment. Uh, but then you might find that uh, the issue then is it will come back because you haven't addressed the gut. So what I want you to try and do really is to work on the peripheral areas, but also to work on the gut. To first determine if you've got a yeast infection, how bad it is, and what steps you're going to take to help to clear this up. Because then when you get rid of the peripheral fungal infections, they usually stay away for, for good. Okay, so to answer your question, Ray, does candida cause nail fungus? Yes, it does. But as I, uh, as I mentioned, it's good for you to determine what's going on in the gut and digestion. Clear up that in terms of diet and lifestyle and look at the peripheral parts of the body and treat them as well. I hope that answers your question. Click on the link below if you haven't got my report. Thanks for tuning in.